lifestyle now with the money. I just don't talk about it often so folks don't know I'm missing for weeks because I'm still on my calls when I'm in Bahamas or wherever. Everybody with me? You just don't know it. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. We paid a price though to get there. Let's get to this next clip. Let's start. Let's do this Malik clip real quick. Um, so here's a, here's a part, just me at the uh, George Mason University for the Redskins camp during the summer. Some of the kids may go to a football camp, uh, you know, which is great to be there. But again, in the end, you know, people interview Tiger Woods and say, you know, how did you become who you are? And he goes back and says, well, my dad was there with me, practice. Because it's hard for me to be able to gauge what he should be doing better if I'm not there because no one's going to have an interest in him like I do. Everybody with me? The coach is going to pick maybe their own son. I'm not going to say all coaches are like that, but you got to give a point. But if I'm there, I can see what's going on. So when I'm there, I can help coach them on. I just took this picture because these are the boys I was counseling, in which were 15 to 18 year olds. I learned a whole other language counseling them. <laughs> There's some stuff I didn't even know. I'm like, what does that mean? I mean, I can't tell you what they call girls. And I was like, whoa, no, you can't call girls that. <laughs> So it's some stuff, but again, it allows me to pour, for those who know I love working with young men, it allows me to, to, to pour into them, because most of them don't have mentors, okay? But um, uh, that's the Angela Hall corner for the red scan. So anyway, so I'm working with my kids, right? And it, it has allowed them to become better now. Like Malik now is a, uh, a freshman, and he felt like, you know, listen, Dad, I don't know if you're gonna let me play. And he's right, they didn't let him play. They didn't let him play because they're used to boys and girls club, and the boys and girls club is on weight. But in high school, you, you can be, he's only 120 pounds, but there's some folks only 240 pounds. In high school! <laughs> Everybody with me? So he didn't play, didn't play at all. But I said, listen, don't worry about that. Don't think about what you can get from the team. Think about what you can give to the team. And when you keep giving, it'll come back your way. When the opportunity comes, you've been practicing so hard, practicing so hard, it'll come your way. So watch this. Let's play this. So even your sacrifice is worth it. I'm just telling you right now. It's worth it. That's all. It's worth it. there, there is something at the end. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so the next big, big event is Oklahoma. The next, next big event is Oklahoma. It's in April. You don't want to miss it. That's when all the prepaid people come. Uh, the, all the teams come together. All the, the states and provinces come together. Uh, again, Canada came. They had to, look, they needed passports to come in. And so if there are people who live in D.C. who could have walked. Here. <laughs> you with me? So no excuses, Oklahoma. Now, at my first event, I couldn't go um, because, uh, well, I thought I couldn't go because I couldn't afford to go. But I felt like if I couldn't afford to go, I couldn't afford not to go. So I counted coins out of my son's jar, my oldest son's jar, who was the only one that remembers me going through so much. And so I counted coins out of his jar. He didn't know he was helping me count on everything. Help me roll it up. Back then, you couldn't take it to the grocery store. You gotta roll it up, take it to the bank. Everybody with me? Then I have machines you can pour it in. So I'm doing that. I borrowed my wife's teach, uh, uh, check from teaching. My wife, by the way, uh, even when I was full time pre prepaid, they were trying to make it. She had four jobs. Four jobs in one year. That's why she deserved to carry what she carries. Shop like she shot. Go with what she carries. Everybody with me? She knows what the fuck I'm saying. So uh, we ended up going. So my, my oldest son is the one who sacrificed the most. He's the only one that remember, remembers us uh, having a job. Other kids, they just think that everybody's parents are supposed to stay home. <laughs> they just don't know anybody. My, my daughter, she definitely doesn't know. Her bougie butt, she doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. She's so bougie. She, look, look, but she's sweet. But here's the deal. Her first, in the first grade, she's going on a first class trip. I'm like, baby, we gotta hurry up. Cause you know, you got a class trip today. Well, what time is the flight leave? <laughs> It's a cheese button. It's yellow, baby. What's that? So, uh, so I go to the big event. I go to the big event. Just like 
like some of you here for the first time, I came to the big event. Oh my gosh, it was tough because we shared the room with Smooth now with like a, a plenty of other guys because we want the hotel rate to go down to about 12 bucks a night. So we just gotta add people. So you got 12 bucks. That's what you do. You start for 140, you see, hey, we need one more guy, one more. We just kept going down to like 12 bucks. That's exactly what we could afford. Everybody with me, we had to play in the place. You gotta have to play in place. So it's uncomfortable. Grow up pain. Fathers become millionaire cousins. So, but, but he's there, we were there, we were there, so you gotta be in Oklahoma, that's all I'm saying, you gotta be in Oklahoma. Uh, but the same son who, sacri who sacrificed, he's the one who sacrificed in his co-ways, he's the one who sacrificed, because when I first started the business, he was the only one I could remember that we, we didn't have anything. He didn't even buy my birthday cake that year I joined. Didn't buy my birthday cake, because I'm out of money. Go to a briefing to buy a birthday cake, gotta go to the briefing. But he understood. I think many of us have kids that understand. It's just our parental expectation over our kids. Yeah. I think your kids will understand if you say, look, daddy can't buy it right now, but I promise you, daddy wants to buy it. But soon we will. I think your kids will say, I can't believe you're buying What's wrong with you? You ain't no mother. I don't think they're going to say, what? I don't think. You need a bitch. Stop running. You need a bitch. 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 You need a Because uh, we, we, we do spoil our kids, they deserve it, and really are great kids, and, um, and we just don't believe in buying stuff just because, though. Uh, we give them uh, a goal that they must accomplish, um, and so that would reward and praise them for what they do. Everybody with me? And so, um, and so uh, Rayvon, when he was 16, he didn't deserve a car, so we didn't buy one. <laughs> um, and so he's here today, and um, he just, you know, all my kids are different. You know, some of them get straight A's without even trying. This is where they, some get straight only if I motivate them with a gift. <laughs> yeah, they reward, that's Malik, he's reward driven. That's how some of your associates will be. Is there a contest? They're driven. Con and that, is there no contest? They know nothing. Contest, they come alive. <laughs> hey, Ron, I couldn't figure out my own son. I was trying to motivate him. He's like, Dad, don't worry about me. He got D's and F's in high school. He don't mind me telling him. D's and F. He said, I said, what are you doing? He's like, D, look, Dad, D's means don't worry about it. <laughs> But when he deserved it, when he deserved it, then we wore it. Let's go to the next clip. Go for it. We like buying things off the showroom floor. Just something about us an ego thing. I just like going to the showroom floor and say, give me that. He only made a couple of these colors. He had watched the Transformer movie and put it up on his, uh, his screen screen for a long time. And so he's like, Dad, I just want that Camaro, you know, because I don't think change into something. He's like, oh, not that he's changing. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit about each child here. And uh, my oldest son, for those who uh, don't know, uh, was there from the very beginning. My workout partner, if you will, was hanging out with me at the mall and then hanging out with me doing PBRs uh, with the business. And so he was the one that uh, endured the most sacrifice and Dad not being here for the most dinners and all of those things, and uh, you all heard at the last conference, I'm not going to get teary-eyed, but you all know that he, uh, that's my man right there. He, sure and there he's, uh, he's definitely worthy of uh, all that uh, that is due to him in the future. So, just want to say that. Uh, his gift, uh, his gift, it's so funny because he had no idea he'd been uh, riding around with it in the truck, which is the reason why I've been pressing him to get home. And, uh, and so he had no idea in the back, and I was worried. I was like, man, what if he looks in the back for some reason, and uh, he sees his own gift? He stopped eating for a second. <laughs> uh, so you've been riding around with your gift, and uh, I've been hiding it from you because most of the other kids, we can hide in the house, but you're a little older, so you know, I had to keep it in the truck away from you just in case. So um, I want you to, uh, because the way it is packaged, I need you to pick it up yourself. And so I just moved the truck into the garage so that you can personally get your gift out.
yourself, can we get a response from you, sir? <laughs> I just been pumped. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy to pump. <laughs>